morning, everybody. Here we are in the backyard again. Another day. Are you excited? It's a little colder out today than the past few days. I'm glad I got what Christmas lights I wanted to get done, done. We have so many left over from the old house. Now, I could light up this whole tree there. We could string up both of these trees there. All I need is a really tall ladder or if I could borrow an elf or two from Santa, I could get it done. I don't know, maybe we'll put like a string of lights around on the fence. So let's be honest and get this question out of the way right off the bat. Where's the truck? Well, if you've been following me daily, you know that right now Manitoba is in lockdown because we are in critical red, which means that we are the, uh, it pretty much means we're the hottest of the hot spots for COVID in Canada right now. So there's a lot of people getting sick all over. It's spreading really fast at the moment, so they lock down everything. It may be a little heavy handed to some people, but I totally understand why they did it. I'm just glad I'm not in charge of making these decisions because I don't know what's going on and I wouldn't know what to do. So we're in lockdown for four weeks, which doesn't sound as bad as it sounds. We're not in prison. I can still drive around. I can still go places. It's just limited occupancy and a lot of unnecessary or unessential businesses had to close and uh, can't buy unessential, non-essential items. I know it's kind of, it sounds kind of crazy, but when you go to the hospital and you hear what they're dealing with over there, okay, they're trying to slow the spread right now and then they'll open back up once we get it back under control. But back to the question, where's the truck? Oh, get him. Oh, just about body slammed him. Get him. There he comes. Get him. They take it seriously when I say that. Guys, don't get carried away. I'm going to have to step in there, won't I? No, they're good. They're good. Boys being boys. All right, boys, come on. Hey, 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 hey. Diesel, enough, enough, enough. Hey, 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 don't. Take it easy. Take it easy, Diesel. I know what you're planning. I know what you're planning. I see your plans. There it goes. Guys, quiet. Quiet, mom's still sleeping in the house over there. Don't wanna wake her up. The short answer is the lockdowns here in Manitoba. Myself as a truck driver, we're not in that same lockdown. We are essential workers. They are still trucking, they are still working. However, we have a few uh, circumstances at home that require me to be at home right now and are a little bit personal. I, I, I've shared them a little bit with you guys, but for the remainder of this lockdown, I've decided to be at home. Uh, that's for the next two and a half weeks. I think it's two weeks from this Thursday. And that's the short, the short answer is that it's just a, a lockdown. The virus is spreading like wildfire here right now. So they're just trying to get a handle on it and trying to, uh, bring the patient number down at the hospital so that they don't, uh, continue to be overflowing short answer the long answer is a little bit more complicated you see I've been struggling with a few things personally uh, related to being on the road the friends I do have I never get to see my family I never get to see my my parents are going to be retiring soon and as they're getting older as well I'm always gone I'm home for maybe what couple of days a month maybe a little bit more than that usually and it's been weighing really heavy on my heart and uh, the problem is that I really love what I do I really love my job I love trucking as you can tell you probably been following me for a few few years and I want to keep trucking but I want to be home so I'm in a dilemma and this lockdown has really given me an opportunity to think things through clear my head determine what's important to me in life focus a little bit more spend time with my family with Britt anyways she's the only one i'm allowed to spend, to spend time with right now but you know helping out my family bringing groceries to my mom or my cousin and enjoying life what you might call a normal life where you're home every night so where's the truck well the truck is parked back at work but where am i where am i at maybe that's a better question i'm gonna be honest with you guys I want to be at home. I want to be with my family and I want to be with my wife. I want to start a family. I want to have babies. I want to have a little kid. And it's very tough to do that being on the road. So not only do I, 
Do I really want to have a family? Do I really want to have my own children? I want to watch them grow up. I want to be there for their first hockey game. Or their soccer game. Or their football game. Or whatever sport they decide to choose. Or whatever thing in life that is important to them. I want their dad to be there for it. I, do I want to keep trucking? Absolutely. Am I going to? Absolutely. But, you know, I'm going through options in my head of how I can still do what I love, trucking and making daily videos, and also being present with my family. Now, we haven't made any decisions yet. We haven't decided anything yet. Right now, we're just on the lockdown, and we're going to see how this lockdown goes. We're going to take these next two weeks to just figure things out. Short answer, lockdown. Long answer, I want to start trying to find ways where I can be home and lead a little bit more of a normal life so we can get a family going. So I'm not too sure. My truck might go to another driver. I might have to go there and clean it out this week. Maybe I'll get a different truck when I go back. Uh, that's more local, more regional, maybe a day cab. I don't know what they have available for me. So what happened? What happened? He's got a, an owie. Which one was it? Was it this one? Was it this one? Was it this one? One of these. Can I, can I just take your paw up like that? No, it's not that one. So it's on his right front side. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay, so. So you guys can see this, it's right in here. Oh, there it is. It's right in there. I don't know if it's an ingrown hair or what, but it could have just been poked with a stick as well. Poor guy. Poor weasel. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. We got a bucket. You can fix it with a bucket. So this is Hibitane soap that we've gotten from the doctor for a past injury that Diesel had, right? An ingrown hair. So he had an ingrown hair, uh, very similar to what he's got going on right now. And the vet prescribed us this at that time. So we're gonna use this again and soak his foot in this uh, diluted in water, right? Warm water, yeah. Warm water. And uh, hopefully that'll help him. He doesn't seem to be in a lot of pain or anything. He's just very curious. What's your bucket for, man? This bucket right here, man. Okay, so we're gonna set a little timer here for five minutes. Five minutes, weasel. You gotta soak your paw for five minutes. Timer. Not five hours. Five. Five minutes. Okay. So let's put your paw in the water. This should be fun. Okay, weasel, here we go. Dr. Dad on duty. Dr. Dad, okay, you know how this works, right? I'm just gonna move you a little bit like this, okay? Just gonna lift this paw up. This is the one, right? Right? Let's be sure. There it is. That's the one. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put it down. <laughs> put it down. I'll put it in the water. You know, maybe it'd be better if you were standing. Can you stand up? Diesel, up. Up. Okay, now come here. Hey, stupid man. Come here, Diesel. Go Diesel. See Dad. No, Mom can't save you. Go. Diesel. Chevy, no, can you stay there? Go. Come. Come here. It's okay. Up, up. Come. Okay. Good boy. Put it down. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna lift up your other paw so that you have to. Diesel. <laughs> Come on, I'm Dr. Dad. Don't you trust me? Don't you trust me? It's okay. Okay, we're just gonna hold the bucket up to it then. Okay, there we go. There we go. We got it soaking. Five minutes. 
Five minutes. Let's do this. You can do it, Weasel. You can do it. There you go. Good boy. Just let it soak. Let it soak. See, it doesn't hurt, does it? Nice and warm. You're a good boy. Good boy, man. You're falling apart, though. You gotta stop doing this. I'm just stepping on things. So this will soak in. And, uh... I don't know what it does. It'll soak in and... I think it just prevents infection. It just cleans out the wound as far as I know. Then we're going to put on that cream that we got that time here. Ah, then he's got to wear his socks. Got to wear Mom's, the sock again. Mom's got some fancy socks for you. He wore these last time, I think. I've never actually worn them. They are my favorite Christmas socks, but I don't think I've ever worn them. He's only worn, worn them. Less than a minute left, buddy. You're doing good. You're doing good. He hasn't stopped staring <laughs> that way this whole time. You're doing good. Almost done. Diesel hates anything medical. He doesn't like having his foot soaked, any creams applied, any pills. He just, he hates it. He fights it. Now you're getting all of it. No, get, your, it get your foot soaked, get the cream put on there, and you get to wear a fancy sock. Not impressed, man. Hashtag not impressed. Stop stepping on things outside then. Look, eight seconds. Okay, buddy, give mom your pop. All right, there you go. You're okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're just gonna, we're just gonna dry it. Don't be a brat. What are you doing to me? Can't, can't lick the soap off. Good boy, Diesel. It's your little tail wag back there. I did so better. good. I did so good, right? I don't even need this sock, right? I did so good. Well, we'll let it dry and then we'll put the cream on and then the sock. Timmy's, you're back open. Chevy, Chevy, look. Tim's is back open. We were getting concerned. They were shut down for like two days. Good thing Steinbeck has an abundance of Tim Hortons for the population we have. We have one over by Canadian Tire. We got this one over here. We got uh, the one over at Esso uh, across from Low and Windows there. What else we got? We got the Timmy's in Walmart. Hey, what can I get for you? Could I can just get a, a large coffee with one cream, please? Large one cream? Yep. Is that everything for you today? That's all. That'll be 215 at the window for you. Super duper. Word has not traveled far enough yet. We'll get there. We had this great idea. I was going to share it with you. Okay, we're going to share it. Uh, share it in a couple of vlogs coming up as well because uh, we want to start a thing a drive-through thing to cheer people up put smiles on people's faces and maybe confuse a few people we want uh if you want to and you're going through a drive-through for a coffee doesn't matter if it's tim hortons starbucks dunkin donuts uh mcdonald's wherever you get your coffee you're going you get a coffee and you say super duper i want you to if you want to have someone film or film it and then we want to include it in our vlogs I'll have more on that later, okay? I'll have more on that later, so stay tuned. I got my go-go juice. The truck's got its own go-go juice. We're good to go. Let's go for a cruise, shall we? Got those tires humming. May not be 18 wheels humming, but we got four humming. I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. Oh, how good are your eyes? 
Can you see Bambi? Can you see her? A pretty good camouflage. She's looking at you. Looking at you, looking at her. <laughs> She's there. There's a deer. Oh, oh. Oh, I wanted him. Oh, there's another one! There's another one! I didn't see that one. I only saw the one. There's two of them there. <laughs> did you spot them before I did? I spotted the one on the left first. Which one did you see first? We are here. Hello. Welcome to our future home. Right now, it's just a little getaway spot, but one day there's gonna be a magnificent house here. You ready, buddy? You ready, you wanna do some running? You wanna do some running? Give her, bud. Not quite as crazy of an energetic exit as Diesel would have done. Chevy's a little bit more cautious. Doesn't trust anyone. She's doing good, she's doing good. Right on. I didn't have the time to put the tarp on her this year. Good thing she's made for the outdoors, but I don't, I don't like, I'm not gonna make a habit of this. I don't like it really. We need to put covers on those wheels too. Follow the tracks and you will find a Chevy. So a lot of people think that we're crazy to live in Manitoba. Well, I was born here. So I don't really have a choice. But maybe they think I'm crazy for loving Manitoba so much. I love it here. This is home to me. This is all I know as home. It's a beautiful place. And property values are really cheap compared to other places around the country. Believe me, this setup that we have here with our little house in town and this piece of land out here, this would never happen in most other places in Canada because it would be far too expensive. Thank God we live in Manitoba where no one else wants to live because it gets too cold, which keeps the property values down. Great for buying. Not as great for selling, but hey, can't have everything. If you want, to make a lot of money off property, you buy property, and you have to be rich, by the way. <clears throat> if you're rich and you want to make money off land and property, buying and selling, you do that in the lower mainland of British Columbia or like around the GTA, the Toronto area, because the property values there, like a house like ours, no joke, a little house like ours right in Toronto would probably be pushing close to a million dollars. You ask me, is that American or is that Canadian? Doesn't matter both land and houses are expensive there vancouver's pretty expensive too just just about as expensive i think so many people live there but way out here it gets down to minus 60 here in the winter time with the wind chill minus 50. i can't stand out here in the middle of winter this looks like winter to you no 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 this is not winter this is fall this is fall and this is why land is cheaper out here because nobody wants to live here because you literally will freeze your face off. And if you're okay with that, then you're a true Manitoban. Come on, Chef. Come on. 
All right, let's go home. You did so good, Chevy. You did so good. Such a good boy. Off we go, another adventure done, right? Back at home and Britt's got the classics on. It's my favorite. Is Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse's Christmas? Pluto's Christmas tree. <laughs> classics. This is what we grew up on, eh? I think this was well before our time. Britt's nice and cozy on the couch there. It's a lay on the couch and do nothing kind of Saturday, I think. Chevy had fun. Didn't you, Chevy? Chevy! Cleaning myself, it's bath time, Dad. Well, it doesn't take long for the sun to go down. Feels like it's 10 o'clock at night. It's five to six. But my vlog's are already at like half an hour and I cut out like half of it. This would have been an hour long feature presentation from Trucker Josh if I had left it all in there. I had so much more to share with you, but we'll have to save some for tomorrow. Britt is very vulnerable to the specific virus and my grandpa's got COVID. More people we know I found out today, more people close to us have gotten COVID positive. It's uh, we're a very big hot spot right now and I'm very wary going out and then bringing stuff home to Britt because she wouldn't do so well with it. Me, if I got it, I'm, I'm assuming I would probably be down for a couple of days, you know, heal up and be better. I'm a young, healthy guy. Other people around me aren't as fortunate as that, so I have to be very careful, all right? And I'm taking this time to uh, really reevaluate where I'm at in life and what I want for my future. But thanks for joining in. We're going to talk about this more throughout the next week or so. Tune in tomorrow if you're new. Hit that subscribe button. We make a new video every day. We have a lot of fun together. Love to have you as part of the crew here. If, you, if you're here every day, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, if you don't like the longer vlogs, I'm sorry. And if you want longer vlogs, you're welcome. I can't make everybody happy, but it just turned out to be this long today. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Lots more to talk about.